Gentleman yields back. I now recognize the gentleman from Alabama, Mr. Palmer, for his five minutes of questioning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Secretary Becerra, I hate to do this, but I have some concerns about your testimony based on testimony you gave in another hearing held April 27, 2022, before the Energy and Commerce Health Subcommittee. And in that hearing, I asked you about a, a final rule that included a provision that will provide financial incentive for doctors to create and implement an anti-racism plan. And your Congressman, I'm having, I'm having a very difficult time hearing you. I said that um, I asked you a question about a provision and uh, a final rule that would provide uh, an incentive for doctors to create and implement an anti-racism plan. And your response was that we don't have a policy as you described. The test, uh, uh, testimony is before you uh, underlined and highlighted. And you went on to say this, and you've used these words uh, multiple times thus far in this hearing. You said much of this is driven by myths and disinformation. You said, I would challenge you to show me where in our policies we call anything we are doing anti-racism policies. The very next day, in a Ways and Means Committee hearing, uh, uh, ranking member Jason Smith, now Chairman Jason Smith, asked you basically the same question, and you responded, um, and in my opinion, rather dismissively, that uh, no such plan existed, and, and you said, I think it's unfortunate that too much misinformation and disinformation is put out there on what's being done. That's what confuses Americans. Uh, Chairman Smith and I submitted a letter to you um, uh, pointing this out, and, um, and we pointed out that, um, that, that you said that, that HHS does not have a policy as uh, he, you, uh, I think were referring to me, described, and that much of this is driven by myths and disinformation. One day later at the Ways and Means Committee, you gave the same response to Smith's questions. Uh, you responded to uh, Chairman Smith's uh, letter. You did not respond to me. And at the bottom of that page, uh, to create and implement an anti-racism plan improvement activity, IA, AHE, uh, 8, which was adopted through notice and comment. I've also provided um, the cover page for the rule that was uh, uh, dated November 19, 2021, uh, more than five months, or right out five months before that hearing before the Energy and Commerce Committee, and I've also provided you with the section in it, uh, under the pro proposed activity title, would you read that? Uh, would you li you'd like me to read what? Uh, the uh, year and future years, it's uh, uh, clipped together there. It should be about the second group of, of documents there. I'll read it for you. Uh, the proposed activity title is create and implement an anti-racism plan. And uh, in the pros uh, proposed activity description, it says an understanding of race as a political and social construct, not as a physio uh, physiological one. And, uh, and then the final action after consideration of the public comments received, we're finalizing this activity as proposed. Now that's very problematic for me because I was, I was very deferential to you in that hearing and you commented on that. It's in the transcript. And I expected an honest answer. And I'm not saying you didn't give an honest answer because if you answered truthfully, that means you did not know what was going on in your own agency. So what I want to know today, uh, Mr. Secretary, is uh, did you answer honestly or, or were you uninformed five months after this rule was submitted? Congressman Palmer, first let me thank you for the way you posed the question and uh, I thank you for the information you have before me. Uh, I can guarantee you that when I answered your questions, I answered them honestly, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, if you're providing me with information that shows some inconsistency in what I, I may have said, I'll take a look at this and try to get back to you. But for, first and foremost, I owe you that because of the way you respectfully asked the questions, and I will try to as respectfully respond back to your questions. Well, I just, you've, you've served in Congress, you've served as, a, as an Attorney General. Yes, sir. And I take this very seriously. I appreciate and, that. And, and what prompted this is, is the, the constant reference to disinformation and misinformation. We're very concerned about the well-being of these children. And we have evidence that, that, that things aren't as well as maybe you think they are. 
and I want to get to the bottom of this, but I also want to make sure that when any member of any administration, Republican or Democrat, comes before Congress, takes an oath to uh, give truthful testimony, that that's exactly what we get. Now, uh, uh, Mr. Secretary, I'm going to enter this into the record, and we'll follow up on this later. I respect you and your uh, willingness to respond back to us. And, and clarify the record. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. And I would like to enter these documents into the record. And we will take that up at, at the end of the hearing. Uh, I assume you've provided that to uh, our staff so they can provide it to the Democrats as well. Congressman um, Palmer, thank you very much. Thank you, right. uh, Mr. Secretary.